The secret of getting things done is to act. We need our legislators to act now. The Great Lakes, which take up nearly one quarter of the world's clean water, have long been protected. However, last year legislation was adopted to allow gas pipeline under regulated wetlands and woodlands. The Michigan Zoning Enabling Act 32052 prohibits all 1,242 Michigan townships from banning or regulating oil and gas exploration. Community leaders and residents have united in Lansing on the steps of the state capitol fighting to repeal this act and give control back to townships and in turn back to the people. West Bloomfield Township Supervisor Michelle Economo Uresti was a part of the rally and has been working hard with other townships and organizations to keep oil wells from popping up in our neighborhood. Right now, gas and oil companies, it's legal for them to, um, to drill in our community, particularly Cass Lake, Orchard Lake, Middle Straits Lake, Upper Straits, Lower Straits. All these areas, the, the mineral rights were purchased two years ago. This is not a Republican issue, a Democratic issue. This is everyone standing up for their property values because oil and gas development in your neighborhood makes your property values go down. We've already made parks that people run to to see, to walk our trails. Why would we want to ruin it by putting oil drills anywhere we want to put them? Last month, oil rigs appeared in the residential areas of Shelby Township, Sio Township, and mapping began in Bloomfield Township. Leaders of the Lansing Rally are putting pressure on the state legislature in hopes to protect our backyards statewide from becoming radioactive wastelands. Any elected official should be put on the spot. Where do you stand on residential drilling in our community? Are you for it or are you against it? And if you're against it, what are you doing to prevent it in our community? We all want to have a voice in what happens in our community. The actions of the oil and gas industry should not be able to trump public health and safety. We are asking our state legislators to live up to their obligations under the Michigan Constitution to, quote, pass suitable laws for the protection and promotion of public health and to provide for the protection of air, water, and other natural resources of the state. We were encouraging our House and Senate members to repeal uh, the Michigan Zoning Enabling Act Amendment 3205 to give townships the authority to ban or regulate gas and oil exploration. We need our legislators to act now. Not tomorrow, not next month, nor next year, but now. We spent 18 years of hard labor building up this piece of property to a nice farmhouse, planted over 100 trees. It was our forever home and now we're under attack. Our luxurious lakefront homes, Cass Lake, Orchard Lake, all the Straits Lakes, they are subject to be diminished. Now if the people said it was okay to drill, then we wouldn't be here because everyone would have had a voice in the matter. But as of right now, our residents have no voice whatsoever in what goes on in terms of drilling in, on residential property. We thought maybe they were doing some kind of construction next door, but we knew that that doesn't usually happen at 1 a.m. And so we came out of our houses the next day and we were faced with a five-story oil drilling wet rig in the middle of our subdivision. It's awful that's happening in our community, but the reason why we're here today, we're putting our energy into it, is it could happen anywhere. And if we don't stand up and shout, no, who's going to? For more information on the Zoning Enabling Act or the hazards of oil drilling in residential areas, please visit www.citizensard.org.